Good afternoon, people of the Nifties community, the Nifties Discord. What's going on? It's LG here. I'm back from vacation. Very happy to see you all chat with all of you. We got a very special session today. We're chatting with the founders, the guys, the homies, Jeff and Jordan. We're going to talk about the first year of Nifties. That's right. Nifties is a year old now. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. And maybe just maybe talk about interactivity in the nifties ecosystem i don't know if it's an announcement you've been waiting for but it's one that you definitely want to hear about so we're going to give ourselves a couple minutes here the event just started so we're going to wait a couple minutes let jeff and jordan uh file in let the people that want to hear about this file in get them all in here and then uh, and then get going so you guys all just hang tight and as usual we are going to be in nifties talks or nifty talks it's on the left side under nifty's community if you guys are in there right now i see yeah i see a couple of you guys posting give me your best gif in there let me see let me see what we got let me see we okay go mustache man that's right the mustache man's back show what you guys got give me your best gif in nifty's talk let me know that you are here that you're present you're ready to hear from jeff and jordan that we haven't heard from in a little bit here in discord and again we'll get going in just a minute Gentlemen, you know what we need for these sessions is we need some kind of like intro music or something like that. Like we need, I don't know what the Nifty's song would be, uh, but that's definitely what we need. We're in desperate need of it. We need some kind of like, welcome to the Nifty stages. Like, so I don't know if that's what you guys would have in mind in terms of branding. That's probably that's more exactly, of a joke. That's exactly <laughs> that's a- what we were thinking. You nailed it. Did anybody get sure. that? Did anybody yeah, you know what? that? Perfect. Let's not even, don't even consult Jimmy or any of the marketing people. Let's just go straight <laughs> to just, just, just record what I'm going to say right now. Uh, Jordan, <laughs> you do like a beatbox or something like that. And that'll just be the intro to the 50 stages. That'll you know, I want yeah. it's an event when we do these, especially when you guys are on, it's always really exciting. So just like, I, I just want to, I just want to introduce it properly, especially the community here, the loyal people show up every time we do these. We need that, you know, they deserve it. We deserve yeah. it. So just saying, yeah, yeah. just saying, you know, if, right, if we'll you, or even if video. you want to make an intro song with a cool artist and then turn that into NFT, everybody gets, I don't know, something like that, you know, just saying. Just that's that pretty, that, that's, that pretty, that's pretty smart. We've got a lot of um, really creative people in the community and also at Nifty. So maybe like there's a, there's a musician, maybe Crash is a musician. That would not surprise me at all if Crash were a musician, but I don't know. There's but, no way uh, that Crash yeah, maybe, isn't a musician. Right. Oh, I'm on it. Absolutely. Okay, good. Crash is on it. Good. He 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 only plays the cymbals though. <laughs> yeah, I was I was just in the studio now. Let me uh, let me wrap that up. They call him the metronome, right? He's just got that <laughs> in, in, impeccable rhythm. <laughs> Somebody out there plays the triangle. Which is totally like a 90s thing, I feel. Like a thing that in the 90s growing up, I thought was like a real thing that I'd see often in life is that somebody is like a triangle musician. But I have right. never seen it's been It's been years <laughs> since I've seen that. I haven't seen that in so long. So there you go. Oh, I don't know what that NASCAR gif is. Like I thought perfect. it was going to be important, like like really important to know the recorder. Like the, with yeah. the amount of time we spent <laughs> learning the recorder, I thought, man, it was, was going to be important. Not, like not nearly enough recorders or like stop drop and roll never once have i done that <laughs> stop drop and roll dude i want to know whose idea it was like who in the education system like thought leadership was like okay everybody time to start making your children learn the recorder like i don't understand where that came from like who started that trend that was like everyone's got to learn some simple instrument so it's massive yeah. like probably somebody who owned a company that made recorders and then Definitely. like yeah. started this like multi-million dollar campaign to like lobby all the education boards to, to make yeah, recorders big recorders it's, it's like a, that it's a useless it's like that company honestly. what do they call Mont- Montessero or something like that that does all the corn like they also create recorders, right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they're it. like corn and recorders that's totally that's, that's corn and recorders man. Yeah. yeah things we never needed corn has like no nutrition it's like some nutritional value but it's not really like a food that you not really the need, best so no. yeah uh, but gentlemen, uh, great to talk with you. Always love to, to kick it off this way. Um, what's been going on? I haven't, you know, I went away on vacation. Uh, we've done a couple stages with the rest of the team, but I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys specifically in a little while. Um, what's been going on? How's, uh, how's your winter been here as we're, we're getting close to the solstice? Well, Jordan is in LA and I'm in Miami. So, um, 
winter has actually been lovely, I think probably for both of us, but we've, yeah. we've been indoors, you know, we've been, we've been spending most of our time working on some of the stuff that we're going to talk about with you today. Um, yes. But, you know, for, for like, we're great. I mean, we just, we just crossed the one year mark as a company. Mm -hmm. So we've been celebrating this week, um, having some fun remote activities and, uh, oh. and just preparing for what's coming, which is a wow. lot. The big one year. What did you yeah. guys, because you guys, this was shaped in like a, in like some kind of secret warehouse in Miami a year ago, right? From what the story That's right, you told yeah. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a warehouse, but basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a laboratory. I imagine, <laughs> I imagine the way that Nifty's came together is like in Fast and Furious when, you know, when they're like planning the heist and they're in the, like the coolest warehouse in the world that has like all these cars <laughs> and tanks and shit. That's what I imagine your like, your HQ is. It was pretty, it was pretty cinematic, but, um, it was, yeah, no, it was at like a house. We rented a hacker house here in, in Miami, but that's, that's more or less it. You know, we we're like, all right, who's our demolitions expert. Right. And then we got, you know, <laughs> got Tyrese, showed in. <laughs> Tyrese showed up and he's like me. Yeah. And then Ludacris came along. He's like, I'll be your lead, lead dev. I was like, perfect. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, uh, I was thinking more like a baby driver vibe. <laughs> oh, nice. That's me. That's me. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah, I could, I could see who's the mm, Jamie Foxx is in that. I mean, everyone in that movie is kind of mean. So I don't know. I don't know who's which team member, but you guys That's are both the baby us. driver. Let's put it that way. You guys are both baby driver. I think, I think baby. if anybody is baby driver at Nifty's, it's John Ciana. Um, oh. I don't know if you, I don't know if you know John, but he's, uh, yeah, he, he kind of helped bring us all together. And uh, right. he's the uh, he's kind of the younger guy of the group. There you go, sitting quietly with the one headphone in. That's perfect. Uh, <laughs> but uh, awesome. Well, that's that's some great movie analogies, guys. Congrats on the one year mark. That's thank huge. you. How does that um? How does that feel? I mean, how, how do you guys feel like emotionally? Did you guys do anything to celebrate? We've been celebrating all week with the with with the company. Every every day we've we've done something a little different. We had like an all hands yesterday happy hour company paid for everybody to order some drinks and have it delivered we did kind of like a nifty's trivia day uh every day we've done something different we have nifty's awards which is kind of like the dundies happening mm -hmm. happening today so that'll be fun um, we, we who's, did, the, who's, um, the, michael, who's we the michael scott who's the michael scott of the office <laughs> it's got to be the boss it's got to be jeff oh come on <laughs> you didn't have to say me could have been anybody. The out, out of touch. Seat. <laughs> so, he could have said anybody. Oh man! Um, one of the things we did this I week. I just think myself was, um... oh, <laughs> yeah, you're wow. You're just you are, gym, <laughs> you are a gym, though. You are a gym. Is Jimmy um, Dwight? Is I'm... Jimmy B? Is Jimmy Dwight? Is <laughs> yes. Actually, so one of the things that Jimmy ran, Jimmy ran a contest where with like baby photos. Um where we had to like try to guess whose baby photo it was. You got to try to get Jimmy to show you his baby photo because he, it, it's, it literally looks more like Jimmy than Jimmy does now. Like it's the most Jimmy, <laughs> it is the most Jimmy baby. You will, well, it's like unbelievable. It's, it's like he started as pure Jimmy and only got less Jimmy as he grew up. It's amazing. You have to see his picture. You have to see his picture. It's incredible. Yeah. This is already uh, the best stages I think we've ever done. All right, five minutes in, man. I'm having so much fun. It's like if Jimmy and Jimmy had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> where is Jim? Where is Jimmy even here? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. He's not okay. Okay, Jimmy, show us that photo, man. We need to see that immediately. Um, we got a great get, contest. Gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was really, it was really cool. It was really, really, really hard. Actually, it turns out babies all more or less look the same, <laughs> mm -hmm. except for the Jimmy baby, which like was like, well, that's Jimmy, obviously, but <laughs> but everybody else kind of like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was fun. It's been a fun week, you know. But um, uh, it's kind of like it's amazing. Like it's been a year, um, you know, a year since we a year since we formed the company. About you know maybe six or seven months since we launched or maybe a little bit more than that, actually more like eight since we launched the initial version of the platform. And I feel like at one hand, on one hand, it's like, it's gone by in a flash and so much has happened for nifties, but um, so much more has happened just in the NFT space. It's gone through like several different evolutions and cycles. And it's just been, it's just been kind of an honor and a, 
and, and exciting to just be part of it all, man. It's been great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Well, yeah, I mean, we're happy to happy you guys are in the space. We're happy to be on this, you know, this journey together. It's been it's been great working with you guys. We've actually been working with you guys for a while too, right? Because we kind of started yeah. this relationship in like November, right? And even, you know, wow. we chatted with you guys. I saw you guys at NFT NYC, which was the first week of of, of November. Um, just as we were starting to chat about working together. So it's it's been yeah. we've been working together for almost half of that year, which is wow. Fun. Right. Yeah. Or at least no, and about you guys it, so. are you guys have become an indispensable part of the Nipsey's family. So um thank you for everything. We're, it's been great. We're just um, be here, man. We're it's um it's about here. to get it's about to get, I think, like, you know, kind of a new level. You know, in fact, mm-hmm. I think we're gonna release a blog post about what we're gonna talk about today and it says the title is Nifty's is leveling up. Um awesome. And that's uh great. and I that's how I feel like the you know, starting today, there's just gonna be such a rapid fire. Um, announcements and releases and and just exciting stuff coming that uh, mm-hmm. we've had. It's been it's been a little bit. It's probably felt outside of you know the four imaginary walls of Nifties. It's probably felt mm-hmm. a little bit quiet for you know eight weeks. Um, mm-hmm. That's just uh, you know you, you got to kind of build the the launch pad and the rocket and then and then and then pilot it. You know, so we've been building. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So lots of fun stuff to talk about. You know, wh- one thing kind of up front you know at the top um oh. we're gonna have another big announcement next week um oh. and that one is going to talk more about you know there's been a lot of requests from the community for uh for more features and i don't want to get into specifics now because that'll derail the conversation that we do want to have but around payments and and like fiat off ramps and 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 secondary market and all that stuff and, and can I, why can't i pay in my state you know why can't i buy something in my state mm-hmm. so we've got a big announcement next week that will address uh a lot of that and so really really excited for that and then the following week um we're going to talk about or i i think it's the following maybe it's the maybe it's a week later i i, I forget the exact date but very shortly after that we'll be able to talk about the, uh, the, the roadmap for the matrix project. Mm. And today what we'll talk about will be, uh, be pertain to everything nifties and every nifties project, but it will also very specifically tie into the matrix. So, you, you know, if you're kind of looking for information about specifically about the matrix, um, you'll start to get a lot more information from us right now. Uh, but, but there's, but, but there's, but there's those two big announcements coming after this. So, you know, at the end of this, you may feel like you've got a lot of questions uh, and happy to try to answer them. But then there will also be opportunities in the next couple of weeks for us to kind of lay out in more detail what's coming. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. Well, you, you want to dive right into it? Yeah. Yeah, totally. You good? Um, you ready? Ready yeah. for this? Jordan, you good? I feel good? warmed up. I feel warmed up. I feel limber. Yo. I feel limber. Um, so if I, if I could just kind of maybe, maybe start us off. Um, mm mm-hmm. You know, as we, as we think about, you know, kind of, a, kind of observing the space, um, we started, not, not just Nifties, but I think as a space with NFTs, we started um, in this kind of Cambrian explosion of creativity. And the creativity, I think, happened um, across the board, but especially in the, uh, in the art itself, in the media that people uh, sold and distributed. And, and last year, if you look across, like, man, I remember when we were in Miami, mm-hmm. like, you know, looking at people buying nft socks right like you know and rocks and like you know and that's cool like that was really like they were like basically experimenting with the 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 medium and over the over the year like just the extraordinary diversity of content has really exploded Mm -hmm. and there's been a proliferation of, of nft platforms where you can buy and you can trade nfts and some of them are focused on different verticals like art and some of them maybe focus in on music or whatever but there's a lot of marketplaces. When Nifty's formed a year ago, almost exactly, we started with kind of a core principle, which is all of the speculation that people are doing on, on the value of this stuff is a, a, an inevitable component, but it's not enough, right? Like this space is going to be about passions and community and engagement, right? And activity. And the word that, you know, the, uh, I, I don't use that much, but the community uses a lot is utility, right? Like uh, I collect, as we've talked about before, um, LG, I, I've, I collect um, basketball cards and I have no expectation oh. that I can do anything with them. They're in my, they're in my, mm. you know, they're in a shoebox in my closet, but 
when you buy, when you purchase an NFT, there's kind of an expectation that there's going to be something that you're going to be able to do with it, right? Like what, cause there's no limits to what can be done in, in the digital sphere. So that's why, that's where those expectations come from. So N- Nifty's has always been about how can we bring more than just transactions? How can we bring experience to the NFT space? And in the course of this last year, we've done a lot, like a lot of cool, uh, immersive storytelling experiences. Just as an example, there was that, you know, there was when we introduced the go- the bad guys from Space Jam, right? You had to burn um, a bunch of good guys, right? Because the because the bad guys were coming. Um, and that was cool. Like it was a it was a burn and replace, pretty fun, immersive storytelling. And then with Matrix, we did the red pill, blue pill challenge. That was our first mission, you know, and you transformed your NFT based on your choice. That was an entirely on-chain transaction. But we and we've learned a ton in the course of this year. So our you know, as we've been planning and preparing for what we would do with the matrix and every other project that we're now working on that comes beyond it, is is thinking. How can we continue to create immersive, experiential, engaging um, activities for these projects? But how can we do it in a way that's fun and consistent and rewarding and enduring? And by that, I mean, like, you know, lots of projects do cool mechanics. But how can we do this on a platform basis so that, like, you can always engage with projects on nifties like how can this be something you could always be part of always have that be fun always be, be rewarding across projects forever it's a big question and i don't think anybody has answered that question in the space there are projects that i admire you know i was involved with nba top shot when i was at the nba i think that's an unbelievable project still i might be a little biased but i think they do an incredible job making that immersive making that rewarding um, it's it's tough. It's tough, Jeff. I'll tell you because it's like it's the kind of thing where it's like I do want it. Like I do interact with NFTs every day, but there is no singular project where I'm like I need to come back to this project every day. Other than like checking the <laughs> floor or something like that. And Top Shot has done a good job with introducing the Flash yeah. Challenge, which is just based yeah, on yeah. nightly games. But even now, even in the community, it's you know it's getting a little fatigued now, right? So um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's I actually, hear what you're saying. Actually, I hear what you're setting up. You know, it's just like yeah. yeah, like what is what does the future of all these things look like, right? Like how do we interact with these projects that we love regularly? Yeah, yeah exactly. And like, how do you make that? kind of scalable and how do you make that rewarding and by scalable i mean i think you know some projects um the rewards are kind of enjoyed by very few so how do you make it so that it can be feel rewarding for many people so that's my very long preamble um uh so that that's what we're what we look to solve at nfts and we want to really be the first ever multi-brand platform for nfts where engagement is at its core so we created a framework that's based on a concept of experience points. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just call those XP. And you guys know, you all I'm sure know about experience points in the video game world. It's a similar concept, right? In a video game or in a role-playing game, you perform activities, right? And in different video games, those activities are different. And you earn XP for, for participation. So you're earning, and you're earning experience points and then you're using that to level up, right? So you're leveling up your character. Maybe you're earning items. Uh, but there's that kind of constant feedback loop in video games where the more you do, the more you are rewarded. And the more you are rewarded, the more you can do. Yeah. Right? Simple framework. Yes. So yeah. our, our, framework, our framework works just like that, right? Mm-hmm. So on Nifties, there will be activities And those activities will be rewarded with artifacts. And artifacts are NFTs, a new class of NFTs on NFTs that carry XP, that carry carry experience points. Our first ever artifact is the Glitch in the Matrix NFT. So by participating in NFTs, everybody got a Glitch in the Matrix NFT. That's our first artifact. And you'll, you'll assume you'll get XP associated with that artifact that you can then use to upgrade your avatars through the addition of skills Mm. obtain new nfts or land on leaderboards and these leaderboards uh have tiered reward uh essentially reward tiers right so large chunks of people 
will earn different rewards depending on the tier that they're on. And the higher you climb on the leaderboard, the better those rewards. And those re rewards will include real world products, real world experiences, some of which are provided by Warner Brothers and so forth. Uh, so that's the kind of feedback loop. And those skills that you use to, when you upgrade, that you obtain when you upgrade your avatar, you'll be able to use those in future activities, right? So you can have a choice. You're like, all right, am I going to go for rewards or am I going to go for an upgrade to my avatar that I can use to later compete and get maybe even more rewards? Mm -hmm. So I know I just laid a lot out and there's a lot more to say about it, uh, but I just wanted to stop there. I I've kind of laid it out. Does that all make sense to you? I think so. So, so take me through this. Like if I, if I have a glitch NFT right now, like what, what am I going to do with it? Give me the example. Jordan, you want to you wanna take us through some of this? Yeah, sure. I just posted this in the chat, just like a, a, oh. like a way, way to kind of think about this. So av avatars, which we all have, avatars collect artifacts, mm -hmm. uh, and they use these as kind of like game tokens or, uh, right. you know, these, these will be used in, in these missions. Uh, and all the while, you're earning XP, and then at some point you'll be able to exchange XP for for different things of value, Got it. Um, okay. and you, and you'll be able to kind of climb up the leaderboards and uh, eventually claim rewards. Um, does that make sense? So art, art, avatars collect mm -hmm. artifacts, and you mm -hmm. earn XP, which can be claimed for rewards. Got it. I and like the it. rubber so really the rub. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I've always read about like the two token ecosystem, right? And yeah. I don't know if it's exactly what you're describing, but somebody compared like the potential for NFTs and Web3 for me a while ago of like, like an arcade where you get tokens to play and then you play and you get tickets and then the tickets let you buy stuff. And that, like, the, the idea of this, like, multi-token economy. And I think that's kind of, like, where you guys are building, right? Or it's just going to be, like, so you... It's a version of It's a version it's of, a version that, of yeah. obviously, it's not arcade, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah, you yeah. get these artifacts yeah, right. for having your, your NFTs or for different activities. And then through that, you earn the XP, and then you can upgrade with that XP. Exactly. Or, or, or a variety Up, of other things that you can get or, or whatever Up, else. Yeah, exactly. Up, get, upgrade or earn rewards. Exactly. So exactly. the rubber right. obviously really meets the road here with activities, right? Which we kind of just brought, glossed it. over. But, but the, 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 fun, the fun part of this is really twofold. It's you can, you can uh, interact with activities. You can participate in activities. And those activities can be all kinds of things. And then the second, but I'll come back to that. And the second thing is, um, you know, the upgrades and the rewards, which um, could be any kind of thing as well. And, you know, um, w when it comes to activities, those activities will be on nifties, like the red pill, blue pill challenge was. And I, I think our next, um, we've got an activity coming up that will be on nifties, um, which will be pretty cool. Uh, but then there also can be activities um, on third party digital platforms. So like you could have activities in discord and you could earn artifacts right here, right? Like, do do a contest here or just be a good Samaritan on Discord and earn XP. Just by participating in the community, you are kind of leveling yourself up. And that and those activities can be on our partner platforms. You know, we're talking to Warner Brothers about the possibilities to do things um, on their platforms. And uh, the activities could be in the real world. Our our next activity, we've got we've got an activity coming up for another project that you guys will be excited about, but I can't reveal. But that's not a real world activity, right? Where you'll be able to earn XP through something that you do in the real world. So it gives kind of a, a baseline framework for all kinds of activity to occur throughout a project's ecosystem and, and in a flexible way that is repeatable and scalable and could last for a really, really long time. I love it. It gives you guys so much flexibility, too, with so much yeah. stuff you can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, I love that. It's it's yeah. it's almost it's it's more like a it's almost more like a platform in a way, right? Of well, just, that's, of, that's, game, of gamification. That's right. I mean, I think that's you know, if you think about Nifty's projects, one of the big mm -hmm. advantages that they have, like Matrix, mm -hmm. is like Matrix isn't just an NFT project. 
Matrix is endemic to a whole platform. Like we have a whole platform behind the Matrix, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you take advantage of that? Um, if you are just a, if you're another NFT project, right? You're dependent on either third-party platforms or building your own technology, and so you do that on a very bespoke basis, which is not very scalable for most of those projects. So most of those projects can do one or two cool things, maybe have one cool kind of mechanic, but it's not very scalable for them because they're not a platform, right? They're they're just mm. they're a studio. Mm. We're a platform. And everything that we build, you know, it, it's lo as long as it's flexible enough, can be leveraged not just for one project, but for many, which means that any given project like the Matrix can be so much more, can just do so much more if we do it right. Mm -hmm. So w exactly the right word is platform. This is a platform for projects like the Matrix to be much bigger uh, than I think just about any other NFT project has been able to be. Absolutely. Is there, is there, is there anything comparable in the space right now? There are bits and pieces of this. Um, you know, I think, uh, like, you know, there's some, some of the stuff that Pac does is, is pretty cool with like, you know, uh, with, um, and there's also the cubes. Um, I don't know, like Jordan, can you think of examples? A lot of the video games, like, you know, like the uh, kind of the well, play to earn yeah. stuff has some pieces of this, but I definitely more. I, I'm not aware of anybody who's pulled all of this together quite like this. Yeah. And one one other piece that I think you know for for some of the, the 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 crypto geeks like us out there, all of this is happening on chain, right? Like just just about all of this is happening on chain. As much as possible is happening on chain, which just means greater decentralization, greater mm -hmm. ability for this to to endure and greater ability for this to be composable with other things beyond Nifty's uh, in the ecosystem. But I don't know, Jordan, can you think of any examples? Yeah. Of, like, I, I, I want to hear like, from Jordan. I want to hear about like the gamification and the comparables and th that kind of stuff, because I know that that's where his mind goes at, and that's coming <laughs> from him. Yeah, you know, um, it does touch a, a bunch of different things that, that are really engaging for users. You know, it's a mix between like an RPG game, um, trading card game, some existing NFT projects. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Treasure, Treasure DAO, and Bridge World, and some of these things that are just kind of coming around. Those are a little bit more like decentralized versions of, of what we're talking about. It's, it's really hard to nail down because it, it, it touches a bunch of different things, right? Um, but, but we're really trying to push each component to new places. I think, you know, I, I mentioned it briefly. I mentioned leaderboards and I think we'll talk about it in a sec, but um, we're, we're really building what we think is going to be the kind of the first on-chain leaderboards to rewards kind of system, um, which I think that by itself could be a game-changing feature, right? Um, but that's just like one component to this framework. Mm -hmm. Cool. Great. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Saying, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard to describe. We maybe need to do a yeah. better job branding this, but well, it's really just you know, Nifty's is a place for communities, and mm -hmm. we talk about ecosystem a lot. I, I like to mm -hmm. use the word economy when talking about this because because really XP um, it just kind of bootstraps or you know serves as this uh, you know native resource inside each economy we launch, and then it's. It's uh, the combination of these avatars and activities, which which utilize artifacts, and it, it forms this kind of this base layer where where uh, you know so much can be built around this little uh, you know community slash economy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. I you know I will say, guys, I'm the kind of person who in school like. I didn't understand these types of concepts because I had to like do them. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't, like, you can explain to me like how to tie a knot. I you just had to give me the rope and just let me, or the, the shoelace and let me do it. Right. So I like what you guys are saying. I feel like so much thought and purpose has been put into this from your end to kind of like really nail this and set yourselves up, set nifties up and the whole community up for like success here in the future. And I'm going to say, I'm excited to like actually get started. And I think a lot of people are excited because I, I, I honestly, I just learned through like 
I'm the kind of person like I don't read the instructions. You know what I mean? When I get the new video game or anything like that, like I don't read any of that crap. I just start playing. I just go like, Bleh! you know, I just kind of throw myself into it. So um, the 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 depth sounds great. The structure sounds great. I want to get started, and I feel like it's gonna make a lot more sense once we actually I, I get think, started. You know, I think imagine what you did during the red pill, blue pill experience, yeah. right? But like, um, put put some structure behind it and some reward. Mm and some more gamification. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so it's like red pill, blue pill on, on steroids, right? So oh. we, learned, we learned a bunch in doing the red pill, blue pill stuff. Um, that was more of like a bespoke kind of um, experience where we, where, we were just, where we were just trying to you know, ex experiment with, uh, mm -hmm. with all this stuff. And now we, we've, we've learned a lot, kind of went back to the drawing board and figured out, okay, what is the rest of uh the the matrix roadmap for this year look like how do we also utilize it on on other uh not just future future matrix stuff but um future projects that, that we'll be announcing soon other other communities that we'll be launching from nifties it's oh. what's the structure for uh kind of the, the future of interaction on the nifties platform and um so that's that's kind of why it's taken a little bit longer because we want to think mm -hmm. A little bit further out and right how do we make these things repeatable instead of just like launching the next challenge it's like where are we going with this so we're, we're really having to to you know chart a course that lasts the rest of the year and into 23 right if we want to make this a, a, a compelling experience rather than just going from milestone to milestone let, let's build an entire narrative let's build a platform uh let's be, build this gamification and rewards program and so we're already working on on re, on these rewards, and uh, we can get into you know we can get into that in a bit with like what's what's to come and what some of these rewards may look like. But uh, yeah, it's, it's this it's this kind of this this foundation that will allow us to do so much cool things in in terms of like engaging with the community and rewarding users, and uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. And I think in you know Jordan. Jordan touched on, sorry, dude, um, dude. just something that I want to, I want to tease out. Um, mm -hmm. we're going to double down on this, on the storytelling piece of this, right? I think like one of the things that I loved about the red pill, blue pill challenge is it felt a little immersive and it felt like you were participating in the matrix story in, in a small way, but in a very mm -hmm. re real way, because it was happening on chain and you were taking a little risk when you took that, that pill, right? You didn't know what mm -hmm. was coming. Um, we want to double down on story, uh, and this framework allows us to do that because each of these activities, whether they're in the real world or on a partner platform or on Nifty's itself, they, they'll contribute to the story and the experience of being part of the community. And one piece we haven't talked about that I think is really cool, I'm sure everybody has noticed that their Matrix avatar has a vote, has a right to vote. Um, we'll introduce for Matrix and for other projects the ability to vote on parts of the story um, so that you have a say in, in you know, what happens with the characters and uh, you know, where, where things go. Um, so the story is not just a passive experience, but something that's immersive that you guys can actually participate in. When we get to those rewards, let's talk about the juicy stuff, guys. Because listen, you're, we're, we're going to play these activities. We're going to get the artifacts. We're going to do all this stuff. We get the XP. In terms of the rewards, because that's what we're gunning for. What are we getting? You know, if you use my arcade analogy somewhat, I mean, it's not exactly what you guys are going for. But listen, I got all, I got all my, I got all my tickets. I'm ready to go. Top, I'm top of the leaderboard in nifties. What am I getting? What do we get? You, you guys know the NFT crowd. It's gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> what do you got for, what do you got for me? <laughs> where's my, where's my 10 ETH do dog, you? okay? Where is my dog? Where's my kennel dog? <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I, wanna, I wanna save some of the detail for when we oh. roll out the, the Matrix roadmap, but mm -hmm. let, let me, let me kind of drop some crumbs. Um, okay. First of all, the way, the way the leaderboards work is in reward periods that line up, we call them chapters, that line up with the story that's unfolding. So you may, uh, you may gain a bunch of points during that, leader, the, that, that reward period or that chapter, and you may end up in one of the top tiers and earn 
an amazing reward. When that reward period or chapter is over, everybody starts back from fresh, right? So you have an opportunity wherever you might have been in the last chapter to rise the ranks in the next chapter. And I think, you know, so, so, so there aren't just one set of rewards. There are rewards that repeat throughout the year and into the future. Mm-hmm. And then there are three basic categories that we have planned for, for our, our approach to rewards. Uh, and there could be any number really in the future, but here's, here's where we start. The first is you can choose to upgrade your avatar. And what that means in the matrix realm is learn skills for non-visual attributes. So we're not changing your visual attributes for now, but uh, uh, you know, you'll learn skills, and those skills can be used in later chapters. That's one. The second thing is you could, in the future, use your XP to obtain rare new NFTs. So, you know, there might be a release of uh, another Matrix character or Matrix avatar or whatever it might be, and you'd be able to use your XP to obtain that NFT. The third category is the, is the, is the leaderboards, like we talked about. You can choose to use your XP to move up the leaderboard and land in different tiers. On, on the leaderboard, the rewards could be a variety of things, but they'll include physical products in, in real world and virtual experiences. And those physical products can be a variety, anything, um, but they will include custom things, things that NFT lovers uh, would, would really appreciate. What would NFT lovers appreciate? Well, like I said, I want to get into. I, we got some exciting stuff, but I, I don't want to get. I don't want to spill all the beans because I want you guys to come back in a couple of weeks when we talk about the Matrix roadmap. Mm-hmm. But uh, the, the truth right. is, we've got some great ideas, but we also want to hear all your ideas because there's going to be many of these periods or chapters, and uh, you know, want to hear what would you like? Like what what would be cool? What would be what would you value in one of these tiers? What would you want to? participate to earn right um those are th- those ideas we've got some great ones and we're already working on the first set of them but uh would love to hear from the community like what are some cool things you guys have seen from other places or that you've dreamt mm-hmm. up that you'd love to see out of the matrix and our other communities well there you go folks that's 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 for you guys listening to think on that what you would want these guys and and Matrix and Warner Brothers and everybody, what kind of what kind of benefits you'd want to see? And I will say, guys, as well, I think we're kind of at an interesting point right now in NFTs, where you know I have like a giant box of like merch, you know, that I've just ordered, and I want more merch. But I'm also ready for more things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say movie tickets, but movie tickets are cool. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what I'm saying. You know, that kind of stuff or anything mm-hmm. like that is like is like what else can we do that is beyond merch in terms of rewards, whether they're digital or physical or both or something like that. Right. So well, that's a, um, that's a really, that's a good point. I mean, look, Warner brothers wants to support this as much as they can. If you guys have ideas for the kinds of rewards that really only a major brand like Warner brothers could provide, then those are way too. I would love to hear those ideas. You know, we'd love to share those with Warner. When we talk about the roadmap, I think we're going to have somebody from Warner join us and talk about it with us. So you'll hear directly from them how committed they are to the project. And you can share some ideas with them then too, you know, and and, Mm -hmm. and hear what their ideas are. But they'd love to provide rewards that only they could provide, right? That that only an NFT project that's backed by one of the best entertainment companies in the world um, could could offer. So come come with those ideas and, and let's talk about them. Oh, uh, also, somebody just connected. There we go. Jordan, Jordan has entered the chat. Um, I, I volunteer to give free back rubs for rewards. Just throwing it out nice. there. Okay. I'm in. Oh. I got some, I got some glitch. I got some glitch NFTs. <laughs> wow. You know, Jordan, I am coming to NFT LA, so I don't know if, uh, if there's a leaderboard there yet, but, and I'm sore. I'm really sore. <laughs> weird it's getting weird now now it's really weird it's um, getting weird okay. i'm gonna change the subject actually staying staying you, on the you subject, said it you brought it up you're the one who came in i was met with show. awkward silence though that's nobody right. nobody was talking about back rubs until jordan just 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 <laughs> raised his hand you know we're just, we were having a nice civil conversation <laughs> <laughs> i I, I did want to touch on um no pun intended the uh <laughs> 
The uh, speaking of leaderboard points, um, one th one thing I don't think we got to was uh, their their avatar specific, right? So imagine, um, you know, you can you can you can take your avatar, your character, and and level him up, so to speak, right? Capture mm -hmm. uh, capture XP and then uh, redeem to get specific skills and attributes to your attached to your avatar. You know, basically, um, take your avatar and run them up the reward tier, right? Uh, you, you'd be able to keep that avatar and keep building him or her up um, and continue to bring in those rewards. Or you could trade that avatar on the secondary market, right? And so that, that avatar sitting on the secondary market um, might be a little bit more interesting to, to some people. Mm -hmm. If it if it's already kind of leveled up, so that 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 sort of opens up a, a few interesting possibilities uh, with with that component. I like that a lot of depth. That's what I'm hearing is a lot of depth, and and you know I feel like we're starting to see the success of a lot of ecosystems like that, where there's a lot to dive into and a lot of like game theory, right? So I'm loving what you guys are putting down. Is there is there anything else like on the XP side? Anything else you want to share in terms of kind of like long-term output? Any, anything else to kind of get us excited in terms of future state? Um, and then after that, I do, I do, uh, you know, I do want to ask you more specifically in term, uh, for the Matrix missions and timeline. But first, first, before we move on from XP a little bit, anything else, anything else like future-wise that you guys have, like a, a little scribble on a napkin of an idea, anything like that you can share? <laughs> you know, I think maybe, maybe a couple of notes. Um, tantalizing notes, <laughs> maybe, but uh, we covered most of the bases. Uh, but what, one, one, one thing, these artifacts that we're describing can come in many forms, right? And I think that they themselves will be quite collectible, just like the glitch in the matrix NFT is an artifact that I think is really cool and collectible. Some will be rarer than others. Some will have more XP than others. And different activities will have different artifacts associated with and that's true for the matrix. That's true for any project that we do on NFTs. They're, 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 the artifact as a class, as that sort of second token in the two token economy, like you described it, uh, is really, really flexible because we're doing it with an NFT and really collectible and really fun. That's one. Um, the second thing is in terms of like looking at future states, um, we, we're, we're developing a kind of a toolbox, a, a really deep toolbox of on-chain mechanics that we can leverage for different kinds of storytelling. So, uh, you know, that's kind of, I guess, I don't know if that's a hint or just a tantalizingly vague remark, but there will be a variety of activities on NFTs that leverage some of the creative things that have come out of the NFT space, some things that, you know, um, we've done before, some things that we've never done before that uh, you'll be able to engage with and participate in and it'll be kind of immersive and storytelling driven and you'll be able to earn artifacts, artifacts that way. So I don't want to say what necessarily those individual mechanics are. One thing that I will highlight, though, is that we're really, really excited about skills. Uh, you'll be able to earn and upgrade your avatar with skills based on XP. And then those skills can be leveraged uh, in different kinds of challenges on Nifties. Uh, and finally, everything that we're building here uh, is really extensible and flexible. And I'm really excited about what can happen beyond the four corners of Nifties, right? What can happen with our community devs who now have access to an API? What can happen in the broader ecosystem to contribute to everything we're talking about? So it's not just Nifties that's driving it, but the whole community driving it forward. Mm. I like that, putting the power to the people. Jordan, any, any, anything to add to that? Power to the people. <laughs> right on. Okay, guys, the real question. When's the next mission? When's this going down? I think in two weeks we're going to, I think it's about two weeks we're going to roll out the roadmap. Um, after this, Jimmy can confirm the date uh, when we're planning to actually announce that. But um, the roadmap will not just describe the next mission or the next chapter, as we're now calling it. But we'll describe, you know, the rest of the year and uh, some of the activities that we have planned 
uh, for the rest of 2022. How we're going to roll this, this framework out, it won't be all at once, but important pieces of it will begin to be put in place uh, in April. And uh, we will uh, roll it out in the course of the year. But in terms of specifics as, uh, you know, as to an actual roadmap, that's coming in our next session. Sweet. In the meantime, is there anything I can do to get ready, get a head start, so to speak, on earning some XP or getting ready for this ecosystem? Yeah, as Jeff mentions, you know, initially a lot of these like these earning opportunities will happen within Discord and on on social media like Twitter. Um, so even before the full the full platform is is deployed, like there'll be there'll be ways to participate, ways to start you know get get started in, in this this new ecosystem um and as and as always the the choice is with is with the community uh one of the clear values with the matrix movie and this program is choice so you'll be mm-hmm. you know you had the red pill you had the blue pill you'll be able to choose between different activities you'll be able to vote on different things uh, do i do i grab the artifact or do i grab reward points Right, different tiers, different levels, um, and 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 then as as Jeff mentioned, the, the specifics will start to roll out in the next few weeks. Um, I know we keep talking about Matrix because that's you know it's an active active program, um, but it's important to think about it as as like something that will uh, will 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 live uh, with with other communities as well. So uh, be on the lookout for other announcements there too um just wanted to highlight i know we've kind of danced around the story uh but this um this first season really follows the story of the matrix movie the first the first movie 1999 uh it's and it's the one's journey right neo's journey in the movie was was a typical hero's journey where um you know he's called on given the choice he trains up and then he uh he finds the reality of the matrix reality the situation he puts a team together and they go fight the bad guys right uh so when you think when you think about the rest of this the rest of this year um it'll it'll somewhat follow that that same story just like the movie your avatar your character will need to make the choice of the red pill or blue pill which which many of you already did um which is why that was kind of the first the first mission and you can think about the rest of the story and being able to participate your character your avatar participate in that story compete against everyone else but it's still like a a single player campaign where you're kind of uh participating chapter by chapter Uh, but then it's also multiplayer because you're competing on a leaderboard um so We'll, we'll get into more specifics uh, in the next couple of weeks as we, as we talk about exactly what's coming out and when and what order uh, for Matrix specifically. But I think, um, I think it's, it's good to share that like this, this first season really follows this, uh, this Matrix story that everyone's familiar with, the, the journey of, you know, are you the one? Great. Cool. Well, that's some good info right there, and sounds like we'll get a little bit more soon. Um, I know that there are still some glitches up for grabs, and I'm assuming that we probably, like, I would assume that at this point, I kind of want to just accumulate every kind of game element, right? So I'd probably want to get some of those. Jeff, how do I get them? Well, as you know, the, the, they're available on the secondary market, um, but yes. uh, starting soon, maybe starting now, um, we'll have opportunities to earn, and there are about 15,000 of them remaining, so there's quite a lot that we have not distributed, mm-hmm. uh, that you'll be able to earn on social and here on Discord, beginning uh, soon. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't have the, the specific first instance of it uh, with me, but mm-hmm. you, you may know better than I do, but Jimmy will certainly be able to tell us. Uh, but, but, yeah. but, uh, but first make him show you that baby picture. Um, <laughs> we but, got it. It was in the chat. We had it in the oh, chat. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm patient. Yeah, Jimmy showed up and put it out there. Yeah, we oh, had cool, it. Cool. <laughs> All right, sweet. Good. Uh, I hope everybody appreciated it as much as we did. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll be able to earn those uh, those 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 glitch NFTs through different activities across social, 
uh, imminently. And then there will be new opportunities, and we'll get into this in the roadmap discussion, on NFTs directly, kind of like Red Pill, Blue Pill Challenge, things like that, more immersive, storytelling-driven, um, you know, on-chain mechanics that, uh, that you'll be able to do a little later. Um, you know, look, I mean, I guess just kind of kind of just to, to, to finish up where we started off. Um, we, we, we're in this for the long haul, right? Um, this is a platform for us, right? For Nifty's is a platform. And the Matrix Avatars is our most important project. Um, when we think about this, we're thinking long term, we're thinking really big. And we're thinking really deep about what will be the most fun and the most rewarding and most flexible so we can do a lot of different things to keep this sustainable for a really long time. And to do that, you lay a foundation, right? Um, and that's, that's what we've been walking you through today is really the foundation to build all the cool storytelling and all the cool immersion and all the cool rewards that we all want as part of this community. But you need a foundation to build that on top of. So everything we described today, this XP framework, is a foundation to build all the exciting things that we want to build so that this will be you know, as big and exciting and as rewarding as it can be for a really, really long time. So that's, you know, that's where we're starting. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll get into some of the more kind of fun details that you know, mm -hmm. pertain more specifically to the matrix and the activities and the rewards that you can look forward to. But before we got into that, we wanted to step back from one individual project, our most important project, the matrix, but, but one project, and look at the bigger picture of the platform and what is the foundation that we're building. So that's, that's where we dedicated our attention today. And that's what we've been working on for weeks. You know, like... Something like this, you can only imagine the, the battery of lawyers, the battery of engineers, the, you know, the, there's everybody who, who needs to really pour over a foundation like this to make sure we get it exactly right. And that's what's, uh, that's what's been, you know, being prepared over the last several weeks. We're just excited now that that period of preparation is kind of culminated with today and we get to actually start uh, rolling this out, uh, you know, uh, to, the, to, to the community now. So very, very excited for this. Hope everybody uh, understood what we were describing and is excited as excited about it as we are. Uh, but if you have any ideas or questions, uh, please send them our way, and and uh, we'd love to hear them. Beauty, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Um, I don't know about those glitches. I think we got some stuff coming soon. I don't think it's just today, just yet. But I feel like we're going to have some good stuff on the way. Um, we do want to wrap up the stages in a minute. And before we wrap up, there was a little contest yesterday on the Nifty's Twitter. Maybe you guys tuned in. Maybe you retweeted as instructed. And we got some winners to announce. We got the winners of that contest. And I'm going with only Twitter handles here. Okay, this is Twitter handle specific names. And this, I don't even know how, one of them is really easy to say. The other one is really hard to say. And if you don't know which contest it was, and again, you got to get used to these contests, guys. You got to get, get ready. Because as you know, there's 15,000 glitches coming and they're going to come out probably in ways kind of like this. These winners, they're going to get a Matrix avatar. Not a, not a glitch, an actual avatar. The winners are DJ Spaceship 813 funny reading these out i love i love in in web3 when we got to read people's actual usernames because they're very creative and very different uh you know i try to keep mine straightforward but a lot of people have hilarious ones uh so dj spaceship 813 and their friend jeff jeff the prophet J, jf the prophet jeff the prophet i'm gonna put the name here there we go you guys you're getting some Matrix avatars. Congrats. Thanks to everybody else who entered that contest. Thanks on behalf of the Nifty's team. Plenty more of that kind of stuff on the way. Jeff, Jordan, any last words to add before we wrap out today? No, just thank you. Thanks to everybody who's been, um, who's been staying active in the Discord during a kind of a quieter period. Uh, thanks for your patience as we got this ready to, to roll out to you. The news and the activity is going to pick up pace now uh, in a big way. Uh, and just excited to have all of you guys 
including the First Mint team, on the journey with us. Thank you. Dude, we're happy to be here. And also, it looks like the blog is out. If you guys want to read more about XP, if you want to kind of recap the conversation here, you want to see it in written form, Jimmy just posted the blog link in Nifty's talk. I'm posting it again. So get that, bookmark it, read it over, read the implications. And I guess, guys, get ready for an exciting spring with Nifty's, right? Hell yeah. Beauty. Well, Thanks, gentlemen, everybody. thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thanks, and folks, Nifty's community, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As usual, it's LG here. And um, we'll probably be back next week with uh, hopefully with some more stages, some more news, and who knows what else. So thanks, everybody, and, and have yourselves a wonderful weekend. We need outro music, like One Shining Moment or something, like March Madness. You've been listening to Nifty Stages with LG Set and friends of the Nifty's team. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Somebody asked earlier if I was going to do another Neo impression, so I, mean, I could do that to finish it up. Tyler Jordan asked that. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. See you next week on Nifty's. Okay. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs>